right. There you go. That. DARPA's revolutionizing prosthetics program has previously demonstrated a breakthrough upper limb prosthesis with the potential to give amputees greater independence and improved quality of life. A new partnership between DARPA and Walter Reed National Military Medical Center is now, for the first time, making this life-changing technology available to wounded warfighters. On December 22, 2016, DARPA handed off the first Luke Arms to Walter Reed for prescription to patients. We are delivering to Walter Reed uh, the world's most advanced prosthetic arm system that has the same size, weight, shape, and grip strength compared to an adult human arm. It's a remarkable device. So today, uh, we're delivering on, on our promise to uh, get that technology to our military personnel. We're here to literally hand off the arms to Walter Reed uh, uh, for our military personnel. So with that, Paul, I'd like to present to you the arm systems and uh, we hope that you can uh, use those in the best way possible to make our military personnel more whole again. Thank Just you so a, much. Yeah, I can't, can't thank you enough. This arm represents so much to so many people, knowing the hundreds of engineers, scientists, clinicians that are behind just this single arm, all motivated to help our wounded warriors, uh, is inspirational to say the least. Devices uh, like these robotic arms, I think, are absolutely critical uh, to what we do at Walter Reed every day, which is really uh, to strive to be the best place uh, in the world for the teaching and practice of military medicine. And connecting the dots all the way from the dirt where a patient is injured and their life is saved or their limb is saved, you know, through a continuum of care that starts with acute care and eventually ends up with rehabilitative care and then being able again to deliver that person back to a life that me is meaningful to them uh, is, is really at the end of the day what we all strive to do. And so I think this is a very important day in delivering this type of technology to support the ability of folks that are injured serving their country to go back to doing what they want to do every day in their lives.